Hi everybody. Hello. We're at the Couple Love and uh, tonight we are, it's Tuesday night and we are doing our, a word of our testimony. Oh yeah, I've got to turn off our phones. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. And um, so tonight we have Miss Jean Moore. Yes. And uh, Good I, evening. Yes, and we're going to open up in prayer. Mm -hmm. and Father God, we thank you Lord for these testimonies that we get to get out and share with people, Lord, and we just thank you, and we thank you for bringing Jean here, Lord, and uh, we ask you that her testimony touches someone and helps them in their life and their walk with Christ, Lord, and we ask you to lift up our country, Father God, and our government, our president, Father God, and we love you so much, we just praise your name. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. All right, well, um, Miss Jean Moore, she uh, goes to church here, and she is a good friend, and we love her. And uh, Hello, Jean. Hello. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I was raised in a Catholic family, an Italian family, and we went to church every Sunday. We grew up knowing God. pretty much been all over the country and uh, I have lived in different states. I've lived in California for a year, uh, Chicago for five years. Yeah, turn her up a little. Um, Florida for 20 years and Arkansas here for 27 years. It might be 28 now. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've uh, drove truck over the years with my husband for about 10 years, we were out there driving trucks. Nice. And we saw a lot of things happen on the road and stuff, and a lot of miracles yes. that would happen. And I mean, I see miracles every day, because yeah. yeah. God is there all the time. Mm -hmm. and, uh, so um, how about, um, you got some kids? Yes, I have one child. He's uh, 51. So I'm very nervous. That's good. Yeah, and he uh, he lives in Jacksonville, and uh, I don't see him very often, but I uh, I talk to him quite a bit on the phone. Mm -hmm. so, okay. Mm -hmm. Um, give us some of your testimony. Give us some. Um, well, I know um, since I've met you, mm -hmm. you and Patty, um, that I've had. What a, what a lot of things happened in my life. Yeah. I've had to live through and go on with. But um, the first thing was lung cancer. Mm -hmm. I had lung cancer, and uh, God cured me of that. Amen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Prayer and, does work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I went through a divorce. And then I went through my husband passing away. Two, month, two and a half months after I got divorced. And then I lost my dog in December. And uh, it's just been, a, I'm glad for 2020 to be over. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes, it's been quite the year. Mm -hmm. So, so uh, tell us a little bit of um, uh, how God is. Um, well, like I said, I was raised in in a Catholic church, and I also was in a Catholic school for eight years mm -hmm. before I transferred to another mm -hmm. school. So I would have been around God and visiting churches all my life almost. Mm -hmm. And then when I met my husband, my second husband, his family was all with ministers involved in his family, and we went to church a lot. And that's when I, I, I would go with my parents to the Catholic church, and then I would go with his family to the Methodist Church, mm -hmm. and uh, I learned more from the Methodist Church than I did from, because when I grew up, if you went to mm -hmm. church, it was all Latin, 
So yeah. you, you really didn't know what no, he was saying. Yeah. 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 No, you really didn't know what was happening. And um, then when I, the first time I became divorced, my, uh, I was excommunicated from the church because I was Catholic. Mm -hmm. And I had to, uh, um, I, had a, I had a priest tell me that when my son made his first communion, that he was able to, that I was able to go to, go to him and receive communion. Mm -hmm. And here I, all these years, they told me I was excommunicated from the church. And, you know, and I'm in my 20s now, and they're saying it's okay. And so, you know, as the years went by, a lot of the Catholic things that I grew up with changed, yeah. you know? And, that, and then they became speaking English in yeah. church and bands and playing music and, Wow. Like all the other churches now, so yeah. that's quite different. Yeah. That is different. Yeah. And uh, when I was uh, growing up, I was in two major accidents on uh, one in Pennsylvania and one in Massachusetts, where I walked away from. And wow. I was three months three months pregnant with my son the first time, and my son was three months old the second time. So wow. <laughs> within six months of each other. Wow. Yeah. So yeah. it was uh, quite a deal. Dad had his hands on you. Huh? Mm -hmm. Yes, he has. Yeah. Yes, he has. Yes. So um, tell tell me um, like your your very first time that you can remember of uh, really accepting Christ. I mean, totally surrendering and asking Him into your heart fully. Yeah, how old were I would you? Say, yeah, I was in my twenties. Twenties? Yeah. Uh, how'd that how that go? Okay. It it went well and uh, I was baptized again in my twenties mm -hmm. through the church. And how'd that come about? Did you just run into somebody or uh, no, I started going to church with Mike's mom and father. Oh. Mm -hmm. So you just started yeah. then eventually? Or, yes. Or did you right off the well, bat? Well, back find then they used to have the uh, tent revivals. Oh, uh -huh. wow. Yeah, a lot of tent revivals. Yeah. Yeah. We go to Checks them. I've never tent. been to one of those. Really? Yeah. Oh, it's very fascinating. <laughs> yeah, I bet. Did you, um, did you kick back for a while? Or did you go up to the altar and give your life to Christ like right off the bat? Or, did you hang out? And no, I, hu I hung out for a while first yeah. before I Listen. became baptized. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. good. And then I was baptized over again many years later after that also. Yeah. Amen. And um, so, um, let's see, let me look at that. <laughs> oh, on a lighter side, <laughs> um, what are um, some of your gifts and talents that the Lord has given you that um, that you use for him. Being a bookkeeper and doing taxes. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. running the computer at the church. Running the <laughs> computer at the church. And yes, I've been around computers in the seventies. Yes. Early seventies. Yeah. So and I noticed that um, He's blessed me with that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've noticed you've been um, helping out with uh, people too, like um, for instance, I know that you tried and tried to um, help homeless. Yes. And have them live with us. Yes. yes. And uh, mm -hmm. I think that is wonderful yeah. that you guys do, that you do that. Yeah. And well, um, yeah. And yeah, we help quite a few. I'm glad that you really um, Got one now that I, that's a friend. Yes, yes. You know? and, and I'm I'm so amazed that there's so many people out there that need yeah. this. Yeah. yeah. It's, no it's, kidding. Yeah. That is a big one because you yeah. uh, you don't really realize it until you uh, are around them. Right. And you're sitting around, yeah. you're talking to them, and you're helping. Like, and what? You, you find somebody you're can sleeping help out in your car. Yeah. 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 No kidding. You can help them. And, and that is something that, you know, we have to, um, we, we have to help people and we have to um, share our faith with them to 
you know, yes, we are helping them, but in return, it does help us because we feel like we're actually trying to do something. Mm -hmm. Well, it opens your eyes to things that are It does. Yeah. It really does. You don't realize it until it's firsthand yeah. it's in your face. Yeah. Yeah. How has that changed your life? Quite a bit. It's um, made me more um, wanting, appreciating what I have, yeah. and uh, wanting to help more people mm -hmm. because um, you see so many that aren't, didn't have the kind of life I had before. Yeah. You know, it's so different than from broken homes or yeah. stuff like that. It's just, it's pitiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it really does make you go, wow. Yeah. I uh, had it pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. You, um, that's why I say I don't really have a testimony <laughs> because it's all been good and God has blessed me mm -hmm. all through the years. Yeah. What do you um? What do you want? Your life is a testimony. Amen. Don't ever say you don't have a testimony. Yeah, he will. Watch out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but your life is a testimony. Yeah. That's right. Mm -hmm. You are uh, healed from cancer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. We've seen you go through that, and yeah. uh, mm -hmm. amazing. Mm -hmm. You are an awesome woman. Mm -hmm. God is awesome. Mm -hmm. Yes, He is. What do you um? What do you see yourself doing in the future? I don't know. I hope to be still at this church. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, that, that yeah. that's a good one because um, not knowing, that means you're not trying to drive. And <laughs> yeah. 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 Yes. And that yes. is good. My mother used to have a saying when we were young, thy will be done. Yeah. She always tells us that, thy will be done. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is good. So, um, where'd you go to school at? What? I went to school at St. Matthews. In, in what state? Princeton, Rhode Island. Rhode Island, mm -hmm. yeah. And um, also, oh, I would like to mention my mother too. My mother, uh, she died when she was 97. Wow. And my mother, since I've known her, would say, I don't know if you know what this is, but um, a novena would say a novena, there's special prayer beads with a novena with the Catholic gift. Mm -hmm. yeah. And she would say one every night. Mm -hmm. Every night she would say, pray for us kids. Yeah. That's good. As long That's as good. I can remember, even yeah. even to the day she died. Yeah. yeah. Did you like school? No. No. He was ready. Yeah. Yes. Me neither. <laughs> yeah. I'm out of here. Yeah. 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 Did you, uh, how, how far? How soon after you um, got out of school did you get married? Um, I got married when I was 20. 20? Yeah. Oh, that's a good little... I know, we were 18. Yeah, and there you go. Okay. No, 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 wait. <laughs> wait, 20. Put her on the no, spot. it was 20, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, I had my first my first child in my first year. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I wasn't pregnant, though. <laughs> that's good. Oh, no. Good. But um, yeah, and I was, uh, I thought you would get married and stay home and raise kids because that's what my mother did. Yeah. And it didn't seem to work out that way. I always had to work. So, yeah. Yeah. and I've always been a work -log, so I work two jobs. Yeah. Yeah. No kidding. And, um, that's why you do what you do today. Yeah. So you've got all that yeah. experience. Yes. Yeah. You like living here in Arkansas? Oh, I love it. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I think it's funny you've been here for that long and you still got that Yankee accent. I know. Everybody like says that. Arkansas never uh, has, has not worn off on you. And yeah. when I go to Rhode Island, it's like, boy, they talk funny. Yeah. <laughs> they talk to me. Oh, that is uh, great. Yeah, you know, we yeah, live I still in have family in Rhode Island. Yeah. Man, that's a long ways away. Yeah. 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 And um, what do you, um, what? Do you want people to take from your life what you uh, went through in life? When you pray to God and Jesus, you pray for certain things and stuff, and I've seen so many things come true, and so many things happen in life that people have prayed for, 
and received. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, everybody should believe that, that if you pray, it does happen. Amen. Yeah. That's right. And uh, you are a walking, talking yes. miracle of that. Yes. And uh, I'm just uh, so glad to call you a friend. Yes. And um, is there anything else you want to say before we kind of wrap this up? <laughs> We're not in no hurry, so if you want something to talk about, you can talk about it. You know? You see. Um, <laughs> Take another drink. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, I miss my mother very much. Um, my father died when he was 59, so he died when I was quite young, in my 20s. And uh, my mother lived a long time. She lived to be 97, and I feel like I was really blessed to have my mother around that long. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, you are blessed. Because she was, she would talk to you just like I'm talking to you, yeah. to the day she died. Yeah, that's yeah. great. Yeah. It is great. She was very aware of all her surroundings. And mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We sure do miss our loved ones when they pass. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, you know, I just pray that 2021. Gosh, that sounds so weird to say. I know. It's got to be better. I just pray that it's yeah. just better for mm -hmm. all of us, you yeah. know? I, um, I do, too. I really, you know, I want to lift you up in prayer for um, 2021 that you just yeah. have the best year ever. And, yes. Yeah. And I just, um, I'm glad yes, that it came on too. here. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And, you know, you need to uh, just have some fun. Yeah. You know, uh -oh. it's time to have fun. Yeah. You know, that's what I, I tell people all the time. You know, you can that. be a Christian yeah. and have fun. Yeah. It's it's so it's not a bummer to be a Christian. Yeah. It's yeah. awesome. Yeah. You know, we Are get to yeah, yeah we get to just laugh and have a good time and and not be. Um, you know, we are sober-minded, mm -hmm. and that helps a lot in my, you know. And um, I do uh, I want to also um, tell everybody out there that um, we, um, on, if you want to give your testimony and you want to tell us, um, get a hold of us anyway we got the phone number mm -hmm. and the address or email or whatever yes. and we'd be glad to have you on here to give your testimony yes. and uh, you know like Jean she says she doesn't have a testimony Just well. sharing what the Lord's done for <laughs> Look what she, she walked away from right. serious crashes uh, from yeah. cancer and she's just an awesome lady and she does have a testimony and um, I'm just so thankful for you um, coming and sharing that with us. People need to know there's hope. Yes, yes there is a lot of hope. Yes, yes. yes. God is our Savior. Amen. Yes. And, you know, I know that um, being a survivor of cancer, that there's a lot of people that um, go through that, that are actually watching this and are a part of uh, Cup of Love. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, they need to know that it's not hopeless. No, it's not hopeless. And it, it takes your body down to get chemo and stuff, but your body builds up afterwards. It might take maybe two years to get back to where you were, mm -hmm. but you do come back. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, we just, We'll pray for you all. Anybody needs prayer, please uh, text us or tell us. And, man, we just love to pray for people. And we believe that God answers our prayers, you know. It may not be the way that we want it, and 
but it's his will and that's right and you know i i believe just myself that i believe that if i'm in my heart that i believe that the lord can heal me or can take something away from me that i need taken away from me i believe that it's possible with prayer and you got to believe or you're going to just be chasing after it forever. You know, you got to believe in your heart, you know, and, and to agree with the Lord. Say, you know, all right, I'm, I'm going to get some help. I'm going to get through this, you know. And that's the thing is doctors, they're here. God put them here. That's right. And you will Able find, yeah, yeah, and you will find it. It's so crazy, the Lord's been sending us every time we go to a doctor lately. Well, it's been like that for quite a while. They've been a believer. Yeah. And um, it just kind of blows strange, our mind. We're kind of like, what? Yeah, you yeah. Believe yeah in I've Jesus? been to many doctors that believe yeah. in prayer. Pray, I know yeah. it. That's pretty awesome. And yes, it is. That is amazing. Really is. So yeah. I know that um, you can be a doctor and be a Christian. And I know mm -hmm. that the Lord can send you to that doctor. You just gotta pray that and that's right. put them in your path. That's yeah. right. Amen. Yes. And um, yes. um, we love you guys and yes. we are going to um, have church this Sunday. So we'll that's, see you here. that's all we'll there is to it. We're, you be. we're gonna do it here. Mm -hmm. And we thank you guys for um, being there for us and praying for us and just uh, loving a couple love and we love you guys and we love you and let's, let's pray. Yes. Thank and you, Gene. Go ahead, honey. Thank you, Father, for this evening, Lord. Thank you for Jean coming here and sharing what you've done for her in her life, the miracles that you've worked for her, Lord, just to keep her going and um, just show her, Lord, that you are there with her and hold her the hope that you've given her in her life, that she's here to share it with someone else. Father God, we just thank you for this opportunity, and we just thank you for everything that you've done for us, and we just know that you're going to give us double, double blessings for the year to come, Father God, and we ask that you do that for Jean, Lord, and we just praise you and thank you and give, give you this day, this time, Lord, it's all yours, it's all about you, it's not about us, we love you, Lord. Jesus' precious name. Amen. Amen. And we will see you Tuesday, Sunday, 6 o'clock. Yeah. yeah, Sunday, 11 o'clock. Tuesday, 6 o'clock for Word of Your Testimony. And uh, we love you guys, and we thank you for everything. And have a great evening. And God bless. Yeah. Bye.